The race for Texas governor is heating up. According to new poll results, voters are nearly evenly split when it comes to Republican Greg Abbott and Democrat Beto O'Rourke, with 42% choosing Abbott, 40% picking O'Rourke. Just hours ago, O'Rourke was in Temple trying to convince voters that he should be the next leader of our state. Six News anchor Jasmine Caldwell was at the town hall meeting and has more on why this race will be one to watch. She's in the newsroom. Hey, Jasmine. Well, hey, Chris and Leslie. People in Temple packed Main Street Hall for a town hall meeting with Beto O'Rourke earlier today. He admitted that the race for governor will not be easy, but says it's possible. Now, Beto told Temple residents that if he wins the election this year. His first priority will be to make sure we are creating and maintaining better jobs. His second is to make sure teachers make more money and to cancel the star test. His third is to expand Medicaid in Texas, which is the state that has the most uninsured people. Right now, people in Texas uninsured may be spending 500 bucks, 1200 bucks a month to stay alive if they can put the money together. And I've met the folks who can't, who are 27 years old and they'll be dead by the age of 35 unless we change course. And not only is it bad for them and it is terrible for them, but for all of us who live in the same communities with them, most recently, Governor Greg Abbott made national headlines for his plans to use charter buses to transport migrants to Washington, D.C. Now, Abbott says the, this will be the state's response, and it's due to the Biden administration's plan to end the Title 42 order on May 23rd. Now, while O'Rourke says there needs to be better leadership at the border. Now, coming up tonight at 6, hear what O'Rourke says his strategy is to win the governor's race and what points Abbott is focusing on for his reelection.